Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to It's Rainmaking Time. This is Kim Greenhouse. I'm very excited today to be talking to Mark Circus, OMD, the author of many, many books, which I'm going to tell you about, the founder and director of the International Medical Veritas Association out of Brazil. This association has been on a mission to investigate the mercury in vaccines, dental amalgam, and the air, water, and food supply. Let me just name some of the many books that he has published. Sodium Bicarbonate, A Rich Man, Poor Man's Cancer Treatment, New Paradigms in Diabetic Care, Natural Allopathic Medicine, Winning the War on Cancer, Soft Medicine, The Physical Heart, Electric Heart, Emotional Heart, and Spiritual Heart, Health Heart, The Vulnerability of Being, Magnesium, The Ultimate Heart Medicine, Magnesium Medicine, Bringing Back the Universal Medicine, Survival Medicine for the 21st Century, The Terror of Pediatric Medicine, Into the Ashes, The Crushing Weight of Loss, Upheaval and Social Unrest, and so many more. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Mark Circus to its rainmaking time. Thank you for being here. I can't. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I don't think you have enough books. Well, I got tired just listening to it. <laughs> <laughs> When you thought of all the work you did with all of this writing and compiling and putting everything together, you probably need a glass of lemon water and sodium bicarbonate. That's right. <laughs> Let's talk about sodium bicarbonate first. This is one of the most exciting ways to increase your pH and to help your body in a profound way that's unknown to most of the public. Talk about it for a little bit. You wrote a lot about it. How do we use it and what does it do? Well, let's just talk about sodium bicarbonate or what's commonly known as baking soda. It's one of the most common substances around, one of the most useful. It's available in every pharmacy in the world, every supermarket in the United States under the Arm & Hammers brand. It's been around for, the Arm & Hammers has been around for about 150 years. And sodium bicarbonate is actually a nutritional item, when you buy it in the supermarket, it's actually, you know, edible. It says right on the box, you can uh, intake up to seven half teaspoons a day for a maximum two weeks. Uh, the Almond Hammers company came out with a booklet in 1926 talking about the medical effects and benefits of using it. It's uh, every kitchen owner, person who has a kitchen, knows how to use it in the kitchen for many, many different things cleaning the house, shampooing, brushing your teeth. It's a very common thing. <clears throat> um, people are used to it in Alka-Seltzer, taking it for upset stomach. And then came along this gentleman, an oncologist in Rome, Dr. Tullio Simoncini, and I heard about him about three years ago. <clears throat> and he is u in, uh, using it intravenously, or with catheters to treat cancer, he injects the sodium bicarbonate in five percent solution, and has created a world. Um, oh, I don't know. You know the word in English anymore? The uh, real, real. A revolution, really. De yeah, debate, a very intensive debate whether you can use something that cost less two dollars and sixty-one cents or less a pound treat cancer as opposed to spending $100,000 for a very expensive cancer medication. So uh, I was introduced to him by this uh, lady who runs Candida International in France. And I found it very interesting in his theory and her work also is about using Dr. Tullio Simoncini defines cancer as a fungal infection. Tumors uh, are actually infection, infectious overgrowths of fungi, and um, I thought it was very interesting, but it was a few, about a month later where I found out that the United States Army, in the old manuals, recommends uh, using sodium bicarbonate to protect the kidneys from radiation poisoning. This is huge. I, uh, this is huge. It's huge. It's really, it really is huge. And what, there was like a, actually a wall of bricks falling down on me, and then I just became totally interested, and I wrote my book on sodium bicarbonate, and the second edition will be out in about a week or two weeks or so, 
And uh, it's an e-book, it's an HTML e-book, and I'm adding about 100 pages to the second edition, and it's now it's a full medical review. I've reviewed all the research throughout the whole world, and clinics, universities, I mean, bicarbonate is being has, is used routinely in emergency rooms, intensive care wards, they inject it, and it's to, uh, when somebody's dying from their blood is turning acid, they inject bicarbonate and save a person in seconds. I mean, literally, it's that fast acting. So I did the research, and uh, actually, I have called for universal use of not injections to treat cancer, using catheters or intravenous, normal intravenous, but transdermal and oral means. Transdermal meaning you can put it in a bath, you can put a pound, two pounds, three pounds of bicarbonate in a bath with, um, with uh, magnesium flakes or dead sea salt or something, and, uh, and or, or both, eat it, drink it with water every day, and you radically alkalinize the body. And what happens when you take bicarbonate is it increases the CO2. You do, when you eat bicarbonate, it turns the CO2 in the stomach. Like eating, drinking sparkling water. Sparkling water is in CO2. What happens when you increase the CO2, you also you dilate the blood vessels and then you increase the oxygen content of the blood, or the oxygen being delivered to the cells. Cancer hates that. So we have a really radical, very inexpensive, and very safe cancer treatment. I'm so excited about sodium bicarbonate baking soda, the number of things that you can do with it, and the fact that it's inexpensive. The average person can take it and alkalize their system. It acts as a prevention for a lot of things, although I know in the world you can't say that. If you're in the medical profession or in science, you can't really say that. You're not allowed to say that. But Ray Pete said something about it getting rid of lactic acid. Can you explain that? Well, the whole the whole thing about sodium bicarbonate, why it's so useful, is that bicarbonate is a basic level of human physiology, cell physiology. The body has to struggle to produce bicarbonate in the stomach, in the pancreas, and in the kidneys every day to control the acids. Bicarbonate acts as a buffer. So you increase the bicarbonate level, and it's easier for the body to to deal with the acids, like lactic acid. So it's, uh, it's and that's what one of the reasons why an athlete takes bicarbonate before an event. I didn't know that, and I was a 13-year tournament tennis player. Tell me why they take it. Well, it, it, it increases oxygen transport. You have your your ability to handle higher levels of oxygen or more in your gain in endurance because you're you're creating a, 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 a more of a buffer against the lactic acid, so your body handles it quicker, so it doesn't build up as as quick or as intensely, and it increases the oxygen oxygenation of the cells. So, and it's not illegal either for the sports people to use it. Can kids take it? Teenagers, like 15-year-olds, 12-year-olds, can they have, what, a teaspoon a day or two teaspoons a day of sodium well, bicarbonate? Getting into dosages is another thing. We can talk about that in a little while because there's a certain way of approaching it, which I call pH medicine, and it's based on using pH paper strips, which is very inexpensive, and you take your pH... It, um, and uh, you, you guide your dosages according to the pH. If your pH shoots up very high very quickly, you can reduce dosages. I mean, it, it really depends. It's, it's okay. a lot of individual difference, but you can take use it for children. You can take a, ba- a baby gets a flu or gets sick, you can just throw them in a little bathtub and fill it up with a bicarbonate. And it goes right through the skin. Because this.